Clark County judge who was shot in a downtown White Castle parking lot now being charged for his role in the shooting. The two men who prosecutors say attacked him and another judge have also been charged. News 8's Jenny Dreisler has been following this story for us. She joins us now with more. Well, Mike and Brooke, the shooting happened two months ago, and as we all know, Marion County prosecutor earlier today called this an extremely complex case that only saw any real movement after the two grand juries heard the case all this week. This surveillance video shows a piece of what happened on May 1st near the White Castle on South Street downtown. Police say it all happened around 3.30 in the morning. Brandon Kaiser and Alfredo Vasquez were kicked out of a bar around 3 a.m. IMPD says two Clark County judges, Brad Jacobs and Andrew Adams, were visiting Indianapolis for a conference. They were standing outside the White Castle when police say Vasquez and Kaiser tried to get inside the locked restaurant. Investigators say the men exchanged words, a fight broke out, and Kaiser pulled out a gun shooting the judges. But just because prosecutors had surveillance video didn't mean the case was already solved. You have video and no audio, then absent additional evidence, you don't know what's said as well. And so, no, the, the video uh, is not necessarily and, and generally never will be conclusive in and of itself. Clark County Judge Andrew Adams will be charged for his role in the fight that led to the shooting. Judge Adams faces six battery charges. Two of those are considered felonies, along with the charge of disorderly conduct. Brandon Kaiser, the man police say was the shooter, faces 14 charges. Eight of them are felony battery charges. And Alfredo Vasquez faces seven charges. Two of those are felony battery charges. Despite Judge Adams's position, IMPD says they are sticking by their investigation and the resulting charges that came with it. What these uh, victims in this case and, and one of the suspects did for a living had no impact on how the investigators did, uh, uh, did their job. But I also want to be clear that our aggravated assault unit uh, investigates hundreds of cases each and every year and they treat each and every one of them exactly the same. At this point in time, the other judge involved, Curry says Bradley Jacobs, has been cleared of any wrongdoing. Okay, so still a lot of questions to be answered in this case, but what does this mean for the judge's job? You know, Brooke, that's a really good question. A lot of people have been asking that today, and we can confirm to you guys that that judge, he has been suspended, but it is with pay. Okay, Jenny Dreisler, thank you. Mm -hmm.